Hi everyone, I am back. In this video tutorial I will show you how to make such an direct lightning and also I will show you how to make this uh, kind of volumetric uh, smoke. It's like volumetric smoke but uh, cheaper. The reason why I decided to make uh, such an effect is that's because I uh, saw this cool effect from Orson and someone asked him uh, how did uh, he make uh, that uh, volumetric ground smoke and he answered that uh, he used uh, uh, volumetric fog 6 way lead uh, uh, shader it sounds so complicated so I decided to, to show how to make uh, a cheap version of it uh, this cheap version will not uh, react the same with uh, the light but it's way more cheaper let's start with volumetric smoke you can go to this uh, site effect texture maker and you can make a smoke texture Import this texture to Unity, set uh, alpha source, for example, from grayscale, uh, and uh, create a new uh, shader graph. Uh, in my case, I will use uh, built in uh, lead shader, but you can use uh, universal render uh, lead shader graph. Yeah, you understand it's the unity because a new shader uh, already has a bug. Let's continue. Open the shader, uh, create uh, a new texture input, create a uh, uh, new texture sample. Multiply it with uh, emission value, it can be two. Uh, multiply it uh, with uh, vertex color. Uh, add this to emission. Uh, by the way, go to graph inspector and uh, set the shader to transparent uh, and render face both uh, also uh, split uh, vertex color and uh, multiply it with uh, with texture alpha and uh, multiply it with uh, vertex color alpha and add this to alpha so okay now we have volumetric smoke now you can create a material uh, add uh, a smoke create a new particle system uh, just set uh, lifetime okay five speed zero uh, color color over lifetime it can be like this shape uh, box uh, 15 15 uh, emission uh, 200 uh, size 2 maybe uh, select uh, this material uh, oh it's too bright change uh, a color to to more darker color uh, change opacity and also you can edit uh, the the shader uh, by adding uh, soft particles i don't want to explain how to make uh, so particles but just copy this uh, group of nodes this will make uh, your particles invisible invisible close to the ground and uh, now you can add the uh, point lights 
and yeah, we have uh, interactive smoke. Also, you can uh, change uh, rotation for all particles from zero to 360 degrees. And yeah, you have kind of volumetric smoke. It's cheap, it's easy. It's left to create a lighting effect, create a new particle system. Uh, set uh, shape to angle zero, radius zero. Uh, set the lifetime, for example, 0 0.7. Speed, uh, you can reduce it. Uh, set emission to 100. Uh, then uh, increase uh, simulation speed uh, to 4 to make it much faster. And um, disable, enable trails and disable particles by uh, changing rendered render mode to none. Uh, select your trail material and uh, change uh, trail width. Uh, now you can select uh, uh, your color for the laser and uh, uh, change the size from big size to small size. Uh, also change particles to ribbon and uh, uh, enable split the uh, sub emit ribbons and uh, attach ribbon to transform position. Uh, this will connect it to the main center point. Then uh, activate uh, noise, uh, change scroll speed to maybe 0 0.3, um, change frequency to 1, um, you can increase position amount, uh, oh, it, it looks good. Uh, then uh, enable collision with word. Just uh, set this value and uh, after loss value to one. Mm. And that's all for this component. After that, create a new particle system. Uh, set uh, shape to sphere with zero radius, uh, then uh, set uh, speed uh, to 0 0.01, it, it must be a low value, set lifetime to, for example, 0 0.5, it uh, will be the lifetime of this lightning trail, and uh, disable uh, render. Then uh, uh, make uh, this uh, trail child to this new particle system, uh, enable sub-emitters and uh, add uh, this laser to the sub-emitters. Now you have this uh, three-dimensional lighting. After that, create a new particle system. Uh, it will be a new sub-emitter. You can create it uh, using this uh, tab. And, uh, uh, change emission to okay. Go to first to the sub emitter and uh, set uh, sub emitter to collision. And uh, here disable rate over time and enable boost. Uh, set uh, lifetime, for example, for 0.1. Uh, add a new component, it will be a light component, a point light. Then disable it and add this light component to the particle system. Set ratio to zero, uh, maximum light can be 20, but change uh, range. Um, this range will be good, I think. And of course, disable uh, render make it none uh, and uh, select a light in color. I think this color is good. You can also increase uh, uh, the int 
intensity. Three, yeah. maybe range a little bit smaller. Yeah, it looks good for the first time. Um, maybe intensity two range. Yeah, it's better. And also you can add uh, some sparks. Just create a new sub emitter. Create a new particle system. Uh, add uh, here a material. Oh my god. Set emission to um, 3 and uh, also change this sub emitter to collision. Ah, okay, it's, it's already good. Okay, <clears throat> set lifetime to maybe from random from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. Oh, okay, count from from 1 size to 1. Uh, render mode to stretch it billboard. Uh, you can enable collision with the world just make it bounce a little bit uh, and, and to stop with collision uh, change the color for the sparks and uh, change size or lifetime you can use uh, this built-in cur curve and uh, make it looks like this. Mm. Okay, I still don't, don't like these sparks. They're very long. Ah, okay, I will change uh, the size for the sparks from this to this value. Okay, it's very small, maybe bigger size. And now it looks better. And uh, it's better to change uh, speed for sparks from 3 to 7 and make a uh, uh, limit velocity over a lifetime to low value maybe maybe zero five mm, and yes that's all also you can add uh, a sphere just create a new uh, 3d object you can also add uh, an effect uh, just disable sphere collider and uh, change size for example to 0 0.4 or 5 okay it's the end but you can also add more stuff like uh, some circles and uh, another lighting so try to experiment with this effect also you can uh, change uh, uh, simulation space to world because locally it will be static when moving but uh, world space uh, will be better i think you can make projectiles with this lighting okay thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next videos